Не вернулся мой друг. Это будет быстро и безболезнец нет. I don't know what the hell you just said. Have you ever had that feeling when you've just watched a horror movie and you get up off the couch to turn some lights back on and you just can't shake the feeling that maybe there's someone or something lurking behind you the entire way to that light switch? That doesn't make me feel good. I'm hiding behind as many trees as I can find. The developers at CM Games found out a way to take that bone chilling feeling and turn it into a VR survival game that's based in a post apocalyptic Russia. Not only am I being reminded of our extremely shaky relations with Russia currently, which gives me anxiety, I am also terrified that the next time I look over my shoulder, it will be my last. Freaking lit. Hi, how are you? That's not lit though. But even having said that, I can confidently confirm that Into the Radius is the most realistic, immersive, scary, and fun VR game that I've played this year. Alright, time to do the sensible thing and hide in a bush really quick to heal. The textures are extremely high fidelity, the guns look very real, and the entire backpack slash looting system tricked me into recording about an hour's worth of video where I was literally just opening and closing various drawers, crates, and pretty much anything I could get my hands on. This game is stressful, dude. As for the actual enemies, I'd classify myself as a pretty sneaky guy. But I'll be damned, I could tie pillows to the bottom of my feet, only use a suppressed pistol, and still get tracked down. There was a point where I was just chilling in the same house, and had four different enemy types all strolling like they were just paying a visit to grandma or something. Literally like basically out of bolts again. Oh my god! Duff! I hate this game. I mean I love it, but I really hate it. <laughs> Damn it! Red Bull gives you wings. <gasps> a big upside to this game is that you can enjoy some gum slapping ASMR whenever you feel like it by pulling out a snack of your choice. My preferred snack is anything in a can. You can take your sweet time peeling back that lid and then continuing to plunge your knife into it, savoring every second until that very last virtual bite. Mm. Damn, dude, the food's pretty good in this game, actually. Mm, mm, delicious. And I haven't even mentioned, the amount of weapons in this game will keep you money hungry for well over 15 to 20 hours, which is about how long it would take you to play through all of the in-game content. It took me about 4 hours to rack up enough money to buy the PPSH, and that is the coolest, cheapest gun you can get at security level 3. This means that I have just barely scratched the surface of this game's massive selection of weapons. I would honestly, I'd give this game a 10 out of 10, dude. Like, for a VR game, this is everything that you want in a VR game, if I'm being honest. It really is. Extremely immersive. Um, the enemies are very, very cool. You know, sadly, you could literally be standing still and they would hear you breathing and find your ass. But still, I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. I would literally buy this game just to do this. Killing all of the uh, monsters and everything. Who needs it? I'll just be over here loading my armor piercing bullets in one by one. Beautiful. It wasn't until I had played about three hours straight, I was beaten down, I was tired, frankly I was a little defeated after being killed so many times. I was walking home after a long virtual day and I heard my character yawn. Naturally it made me yawn too. And it was in that moment that I noticed how little I had thought of the past day, week, or even a couple of years in real life. I was so immersed in this fictional world I found myself in, and I realized that I truly felt like I was leading an alternate life up until that point. Then it dawned on me, isn't that the reason why we play these games? To for a second forget about all of the hassles and worries of our everyday lives, to escape for a moment, even if it may only be brief. Well, if we were scoring into the radius based solely on that criteria, I'd give it a solid 69 out of 10. You know what they say, the audience can tell you. It's like I can have a freaking video game character yawn and I'm still gonna yawn.
Into the Radius genuinely makes me feel like I'm stranded in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, doomed to run around searching for artifacts, weapons, food, and everything in between. The sheer terror that you feel when you've just shot your last bullet and the enemy is still inching closer and closer to you, you've no loaded magazines left, and you're forced to load another magazine mid-fight, which in my case, for immersion purposes, meant that I had to load that magazine bullet by bullet using my bare hands, and it's absolutely exhilarating. This is an experience that is most certainly exclusive to this game. I haven't found another VR game like it. If you know about another game that can make my heart race as quickly as that situation does, then leave it in the comment section and I'll make a video on it. Oh, Dude, my skills are OP. Ah, ouch! <laughs> I spoke way too soon. Yes! Is this one it? Oh, whoa, that is bright. Look at this. We got a really nice haul, if I'm being honest. Like, whatever the hell that thing is, whatever the hell that thing is, and then this one is the, uh... <laughs> and just as a cherry on top, the surge of dopamine that you get in this game after you've been lurking around the wasteland, scavenging for goodies to sell, just to come back home and sell all of it so you can buy that sick-ass gun you've had your eyes on, is borderline addictive. I will restate, I've only gotten to security level 3 in this game, and oh buddy, the guns that you can buy once you get to security level 4 or 5, that is when the fun really starts to happen. I myself have my heart set on the VSS sniper rifle so I can maintain maximum sneakiness. Oh my gosh, yes! Yes! I wanna go shoot something with this dude! To close out this video, I think Into the Radius is the best VR game I've played this year. It made me feel oh so good in all of the right places. I laughed, I screamed, I felt like a badass, and I even retreated underground into a bunker for about 15 minutes just because I was so damn afraid of all the scary noises above me. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, I really hope you laughed or at least smiled, and if you didn't, I hope I at least provided you with some good company while you were cleaning up the house or making yourself food or whatever. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and hey, consider liking this video. Maybe you could even subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my stuff. Peace. Dude, I literally... Was that a headshot? That was a neck shot. That was still pretty sick, though.